Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Now we recently partnered with company Retrofrog to handle distribution of their 3D printed accessories. What accessories are those? You've got console stands and controller clips and other things that don't start with the letter C. Let's take a look. Okay, let's start off with a little Nintendo 64. So here's my own 64 and here is the wonderful wireless Brawler 64 from uh, Retro Fighters. This is a great controller. There's uh, just one little thing about this dongle, right? This is a pretty beefy dongle right here. And uh, when you plug it in to your N64, it's perfectly stable, but there's, there's some give here. This is a wiggly dongle right here. We want to not have a wiggly dongle, so Retrofrog made this. This little doodad right here just clips right on to the dongle. Then you plug it in and ta-da, no movement. It sits uh, flush with uh, whatever flat surface your Nintendo 64 is on. So this is even with the, uh, the N64's feet right there. And it's, uh, well, it's pretty nice. That's, that's not going anywhere now. It just seems nice and stable. So when you're plugging your uh, memory card in and out of here, you are, uh, well, it's stable. It's great. And these are made for other wireless controllers too. There's one for the Admiral. I think there's one for another one as well. Uh, so if you've got wireless N64 controllers and you want to make them more stable, this little guy right here, this brace, will help you do that. All right, next let's talk about the Dreamcast controller. And this little piece of plastic right here is incredibly cool. All right, so look at this. Dreamcast controller has one of the most ridiculous design flaws I've ever seen in my life. And that is the cable sticking out of the bottom here. And then you've got this little clippy do on the back that kind of holds your cable, but can wear out over time uh, pretty easily. And then your cable is just kind of flopping out all over the place. Like, what is going on here? So this little bracket right here actually uh, holds the cable in place permanently. All you gotta do is unscrew these two little uh, basic Phillips head screw screws right here. They're not gonna make your controller fall apart. You just take those out. You put this little guy on here. It even has a little thing that says Would you, uh, to put your VMU in there. Uh, and you just kind of stick that in there and screw the, the holes right in there. And then your controller cable will stay in place forever. And here's a, a one I did earlier. Um, see? That's it. The controller is right there. It's a, they come in black. So in case you have these uh, black Sega Sports controllers, it's going to look all, all nice and blend right in. In fact, you don't even notice it's there, and it just keeps your con your controller cable where it's supposed to be at all times without any thought of it flopping out and then you being all uncomfortable with your Dreamcast controllers. What a great idea. Speaking of the Dreamcast, here is my... Um, grody discolored dreamcast I, I promise it's clean it's just discolored and it makes me sad but anyway uh the dreamcast here is a wonderfully awesome system but there are some people that don't have a lot of extra space so what retrofrog did was he created a vertical stand for the sega dreamcast uh it tells you exactly where to put it there's the front right there uh you want to make sure you leave this vent on the top right here and of course you're a uh, uh, modem or whatever else you want to have plugged into there and then you just kind of take it on its side and you put it right in here and it's not going anywhere it's it's built so that it's um see it doesn't slide that's as far as you can move it back and forth so this thing is pretty stable and uh you want to open the disk drive like so there you go it is carved out just like so to be able to do that now there's been some i've seen some people concerned that oh no uh, if I put my Dreamcast in here, it's going to put some unnecessary strain on the disk drive because this thing wasn't built to be on its side. This has a, th this is really mostly designed to be useful for, at least from what I can tell, uh, if you've got an ODE in your system, like you got mode in here, uh, like I don't have mode in this one, this is just to display here, but if you have mode in here, then you don't have to worry about your disk drive getting all worn out by it sitting vertical, and you can save some, uh, some space by stacking your Dreamcast on its side. Isn't that lovely? And while we're on the topic of vertical stands, we've got PlayStation 2s here. Now, these systems were designed to be uh, stood vertical, but the original vertical stands are a little wonky. So let's start with the, the PS2, TWO, as it's sometimes referred to as. This is the little PS2 Mini, and the original vertical stand for this actually screws in to the bottom here. Uh, and I haven't seen one in a long time, but I think it's like super round. This guy right here, uh, see there's your front right there again, is a lot snazzier. Look at that. It clips in place, doesn't move. Uh, you've got access to everything that you need to, including some dog hair. Uh, and um, 
You've, it doesn't cover up any of your memory cards or anything, and it's it comes in this, uh, it's available in this cool PS2 blue, so it's got that matching look to it. Oh, of course, you're gonna do a vertical stand. You gotta make sure you flip your PlayStation logo. And the door opens, you're good to go. And same thing goes for this gentleman right here, this beefy boy. Now, obviously, you can just stand up a PlayStation 2, just like so. Um, the original PS2 stands, I think were, um, I don't remember them having uh, any stoppers on them. See, here's a, a solid black one for this guy. It just clips right in like so, and it lines up perfectly with uh, all of your little bits down here. Um, your USB ports are open, everything is open. Uh, my PlayStation logo is already flipped, so ta-da. And but uh, unlike the original one, I feel like the original one didn't have a back to it, and it could just you could slide this forward and backwards. But you can see this is not going anywhere, uh, and it is available in a couple of different colors. This black one I think looks really sleek on a uh, your PS2, so you can just kind of line up all your game systems. Where's that Dreamcast one? There we go. Line up all your game systems all vertical and have them take up not nearly as much space as they used to. Well, isn't that swell? Retro Frog accessories are available now at StoneAgeGamer.com in a multitude of shapes, sizes, and colors. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, subscribe, uh, share, and get down in the comments and let us know what kind of 3D printed objects you would like Retro Frog to make next. I, uh, let's see, I really like the console stands, and I want to see some pointless ones. I want to see some console stands that serve no actual purpose, like a vertical stand for a top loader NES. That's a terrible idea. You don't, don't, don't make that. That's, that's a bad idea. Anyway, thanks again for watching. On behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games.